The images are silent, shot by a drone, posted on YouTube, and oddly mesmerizing. It's Jeffrey Epstein's private island in the Caribbean, a place seemingly befitting any self-proclaimed billionaire, but in this case, one who was also a convicted sex offender, facing fresh sex crime charges when he apparently killed himself early Saturday in a jail cell in New York. This island, say his accusers, was where young girls were brought from around the world to be used as sex slaves. Look closely and you'll see New York police and FBI agents raiding the place yesterday. Seen clearly through the window, computers packed in red bubble wrap, ready to go, evidence freshly gathered, underlining the investigation into Epstein's world is far from over. As the lawyer for two of the women accusing Epstein told CBC News this morning, the number of Epstein's accusers is still growing. We've been hearing from more every day, and my team and I have been reviewing their cases, reviewing their evidence, their witnesses, vetting the whole process we go through uh, in every case. At the New York jail where Epstein reportedly hanged himself, two guards were today put on leave and the warden replaced in response to the death. But meanwhile, conspiracy theories live on. With word today, Epstein's death first came out, mysteriously enough, on 4chan, an online message board known for right-wing internet trolls. Then there's Donald Trump, seen here with Epstein in 92, who on the weekend retweeted the baseless suggestion Bill Clinton may have been involved in Epstein's demise. Today, he chose to emphasize Clinton flew on Epstein's private jet more than two dozen times. So you have to ask, did Bill Clinton go to the island? That's the question. If you find that out, you're going to know a lot. And so on all of that and more, they search. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.